Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we uh, import the visual, visual URLs, okay, or visual files in our SOAP UI uh, project, SOAP UI, okay. So I have taken one example. This is the Pave service, okay. This is online open source uh, available, okay. These are the public API, so you can access this one. Okay, now suppose that we have digital file and uh, you receive the digital file and uh, now you, you want to automate these test cases, uh, API test cases in the, like, uh, uh, using the SOAP UI, then how you do that? Okay, so you can uh, open the SOAP UI and go to the file. Here you will get, uh, create the empty uh, project. Okay, click on this. One project is created. Right click here, add the Vistel. Okay, WSDL. Click on this. You will get one pop up. Here you can enter the URL. Okay, copy this URL and paste this URL. Okay, you can also import the files. Okay, this file you can, uh, so if you have digital file, you can also import directly. Like let me, if I save this file, this is the file. Okay, so now I can import the file here also. Both way we can do that. Go to the desktop, country, okay. Uh, info service start XML, open that and then click on OK button. So all that test cases, uh, API tests which are mentioned in the visual file that will automatically imported here. Okay, let me rename the project. Okay. So project is imported here now and uh, similar way, like we have converted the Swagger APIs into the uh, test to test cases, we can also convert that. We can also generate here. So you can see here all the APIs is added. Okay, there are two versions of APIs. So you can get the similar APIs, capacity city, capacity city, right? So all the, the uh, APIs are same, but two different versions. So now if I use this, right? So just right click and generate test suit. Click on this, okay? It will ask option here. You can see on the top, create. Create means this will create a new suit. And uh, here you can see all the test, all the request is uh, added here. It means like these are known as the resources. So all the resources automatically added here. And by default, this is selected. So let's unselect. Okay, and here on the top style, one test for each request. It means if I create here multiple APIs, so these APIs are created in separate test. Why? Because we have selected here test cases for each operation. Click on okay. And you will see here, it will ask to give the suit name. So let me give the test suit. Okay, click on OK button. You will see here one suit is added and within the suit, you will see all the four tests what we have selected is added automatically. Okay, so four test cases is added and within the test cases, you can see corresponding request, capital city. Okay, and then countries okay so here you can see country currency here we need to pass the uh, country iso code like suppose that our country is in okay country code if i run then we will get the response right inr and rupee so similar type if we want to current currency countries using the currency here we can also pass the uh, currency code. So currency code is INR, just pass the INR, okay? And send the request. 
you will get the country code as well as the country name. So this is the capital. Okay, and the request here. So here, what we need to pass? We need to pass the country ISO code. ISO code is IN. So we will get here capital of the country. If I want to hear different country, like for USA, you can see the Washington. And UK, you will see the Okay, so maybe its country code is different. That's why we are not getting. Okay, so now here you can see, you can import the visual uh, URL as well as visual uh, files in SOAP UI that will automatically add all the your resources which are mentioned in the visual URL are the uh, files. Okay, so once you get the resources here, you can convert those resources into the test suit and then you can generate the within the test case. Now let me show another example here, like how we convert. So let's create another suit, generate suit. Now in here, you will get test suit name. This test suit is already created here. So at the, all the created test suit, you will see here along with the create. If you will select here create, it means this will create a new test suit. And if you will select the test suit, then this will not create the new test suit. This will add the test case in an existing suit. So let me add one test, like I am going to use the country name. One test case for each operation, it means each and every resources request, it will create new test. If we select this one, click on OK. You can see one more test added in the same suit. This is the country name. Let me send the request here, country ISO code. We can pass here IN. IN is the ISO code of India. This will give us the country name. Let's save this. Okay, so now next, let's let me show that other options here. If I go to the generate test suit, okay. If you will not create, select the existing suit, create, click on select the new, uh, like create. Then in that case, it will create a new suit. It will ask like suit name. Here, single test case with one request for each operation means if I select this radio button, in that case, it will create single test cases for all the selected requests. Like I have added here four. And let's click on OK. It will ask the suit name. So this is the suit two. Click on OK button. Okay. Here you can see we have only one test. We can rename this. Okay. Rename given the test case. And within here, you will see all the four requests. Now, all the four requests is uh, API is added in within single test. Why? Because we have selected option for that. Okay. What option we have selected? Let me show again. Here we have selected single test case with one request for each operation. So that's why it's created a single test case. Okay, so like if I select this use existing request in interface, let me create one, click on OK. Test suit, OK. So now, Let me add again. I give in the same suit name. That's why this is okay. So capital city. Click on OK. Test suit three. Click on OK. You can see one more test suit is added. Okay, one test here and one test steps. You can see. Okay, and uh, now returning back again. Click on right click here, okay. Generate test suit, okay. Select these, create new empty request, okay. So now here is a checkbox generate the default load test for each created test. So if I select this, okay, like I'm going to select two, three tests, 
okay so if i select this generate a default load test for each created test so in that case if i check this checkbox we will also get the load test script so click on this let me show where it will create so i am going to use here test suit for click on okay you will see here test suit is created for and let me open here you can see test case test steps this is test case city test case one test case added and also you can see one load test is created for this request capital city okay we will discuss more about the load test in another tutorial in another video as of now i am discussing here how we convert the soap ui a uh, visual file how we import the visual file and convert the generate the test suit and test cases okay so we can now our test is ready okay and we can pass the corresponding data we can set up data we can add the validation all those we can do so in the next session uh, in the next tutorial i will discuss how we add the value assertion what is the assertion in soap ui okay and how we do that because essence assertion is a very important point without assertion we cannot validate automatically our request is correct our response is correct or not okay so in next session we will discuss what is the assertion and how we apply the assertion in the soap ui project Thanks for watching the video.